everyone. Welcome back to Fish Hunt Northwest. We're here in the kitchen with Chef Kelly, and I hear that we have a rainbow trout caught by a little four-year-old on his birthday. Yeah, and I actually got to see that kid, and he was so ecstatic talking about his little <laughs> fish. I mean, the smile from ear to ear was just oh. amazing. You know, that's what we need. Yeah. You know, we need, that's the future of our sport, you know? Exactly. And trout is found everywhere. Found most almost, popular. Almost across the United, whole United States is one of the most popular fish. And so yeah. let's do one of my staples. It's a pecan crusted trout over white cheddar grits with a, a brown butter sage sauce. Okay, well, not quite what my dad used to throw on the campfire, but let's do it. Yes, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first thing we're going to start with is our grits. Now, so let's talk about grits. Now, you know, there's a lot of argument over grits. It's like, what is grits? Is it going to be the white corn or is it going to be yellow corn? Is grits. This is a good argument. I tell you what, you're, you're like... Yeah, you're I hear like families fight over this. Yes, I, I, that's not a, not a joke at all. Okay. Okay. I'll trust you. And how they fix grits too is just... Is equally as like yeah everybody has their own way and they think yeah. that's the only way to do it yes when well, yep. you put butter oh i put cheese and <laughs> i put it all to tell you the truth <laughs> anyway uh. so the basic premise of of grits is going to be three and a half parts liquid to one part of your grits okay so just water milk and grits yes okay okay to start with okay so we got our water here okay that's two cups of water all right one and a half cups of milk, whole milk, I like. Okay, and then we're gonna season it. Okay, a little pepper, a little bit of salt. Kosher salt. Kosher salt, of course. Okay, I'm gonna bring that Another to a boil. Another nine-year-old container. Right. That we love. Yes. Okay, so now let's talk about our trout. Okay, so what I did was I took the trout and I... You left the skin on. I left the skin on, of course, but I scaled it. So yeah, all I do to scale is I just take a sharp knife. I kind of go backwards on the scale and then rinse them off. Just scrape them. Yeah, it's yeah. easy. Okay. It really is easy, to tell you the truth. And then to get the bones out from the... Okay, the bones out, so filet. as you can see, I kept the skin intact and I just made a little V cut one each side of the bones and then just, just cut it out. Oh, okay. and I see it's not quite through to the skin. You just want it, you don't want to cut through the skin. Yes, absolutely. Okay. 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 So, trout is ready to go. All right. Panko. Panko. Like okay, panko. so equal parts, panko That's and bad. pecans. Now, our pecans, you know, I got some chopped pecans and they were really big. And oh. that's not what we're looking for. We're not, we want it kind of finer. So you can see there's some dust in there. But, that's what but, I heard you pounding on. Yes. Yeah. I, was, I was actually <laughs> chopped it all by hand. Yeah. A slave or a hot stove for you. So if they're too big, they clump on there or they fall off? They just fall off. Okay. And it's like, okay, that, that's not a good thing. Yeah. Okay. So there's our crust. Okay, we're good to go there. Okay, so now we're going to season our fish. I'll leave that open for you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, we season our fish on both sides. Nice looking little rainbow. <laughs> I can't Fresh wait to see Harper's pepper. face with those, with her first one. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I like garlic, so I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh garlic mixed in there too. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Always with the garlic. Always well, with the garlic. Well, you know I like it too, so. Yeah, right? Okay, I'm gonna smear that on there, just like that. Looks great. Okay, now we're only gonna crust this on one side. Oh, I would've thought you did both. No, because what we're doing is we're trying to get crispy skin on one side and then the crust on the other side. Oh, okay. So you're getting two different textures, you know, out of one shot. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of Press that in there. Let that sit there for a second. You're going to get rid of that. Okay, our pan's getting hot. We're going to use a fair amount of oil in this. So that it kind of goes over the sides of it? And yes, exactly. And it's because we want to get... What's that word I'm looking for? Envelops it? Oh, wow. Big hey. word for the day. Oh, I have a few in me. Not very many. 
Mm. Make sure we get all of it kind of pressed in there pretty good. All right. Yeah. Missed a little bit on the tablet. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so we're getting all crispy and happy in there. All right. It's okay. Happy. Happy fish. Happy fish. Okay, so our grits liquid is now boiling. So we're going to use a little we'll too crazy. Yeah. We're going to use a whisk to whisk in our grits because we just don't want to have clumpy grits. Nobody likes a clumpy grit. That's right. You can take care grits. of that, please. Okay. Yeah, and you made some ahead of time because they need a little while. Yes, yeah, grits need at least like a half an hour. So, you know, bring this to a boil like it is, you know, turn it down. Okay. Down to low. We'll go ahead and move that one and then you can. You take care of that, please. Sure. All right. So, that's getting, well, that's getting a little warm. Um, a little bit of water. Sure. Um, well, that's getting warm. I'm going to check out our fish. We're almost there on the flip. Okay, so there. while we're waiting for that, we're going to get our pan going for our sage butter, uh, our brown butter sage sauce. Okay? So it's just what you're thinking. It's exactly what it says. What it says. Yeah. So, brown butter sage sauce. Yes. Okay. Okay. So everything is good. Got that water? Yes. Okay, so our, our grits got a little bit thicker, so I'm going to thin it down with just a little bit of water. Go with it there. All right. Okay. Just mix it up there. Yeah. A little bit of water. Uh, give me that butter back. Oh, okay. where did I put it? Right yeah. here. Here we go. Oh, so just add some in it? Just add some in it. Make some a little creamer. Oh, oh perfect. Oh, boy. Ooh. Hey, now. Hey, now. There you go. Now. So do you just put a little pressure on there just to make sure that it sears it real good? Yeah, you know, sometimes it wants to kind of curl up on you like this, so you need to kind of press down. In the restaurant, we would take a, a pan and just put it on top, and there you go. Well, we're no restaurant. Right? One day a week. <laughs> Getting that butter all mixed in there. Wow, this looks really good. Now I know how to make grits. Okay, so, you know, typically you're gonna add some cheese to, to your grits. Not everybody has cheese, but I like cheese in my grits. We're gonna add a uh, black pepper white cheddar. But you can just use any kind of you white use, cheddar, mostly, use, is what you like. Uh, I just, you know, I don't like my, my grits too orange. Oh. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. so we are almost there. That's great. On our grits, we're almost ready to plate, tell you the truth. Okay. We're finishing up. So, see we're there. Sage? Yes. Look so at that. So we're, we're gonna add some sage to this. Not too much, it's not really high, powerful flavor. Oh right? yes. It's, yes, this is not like, oh, we're gonna add, because I want some more color. Some White wine. A little bit of white wine. We're trying to stop the cooking process. Mm. And uh, I was trying to add some uh, acid. So we're almost there. Wow. Mm. 
Okay, we're going to taste better. our grits. Make sure you got to taste everything before you serve it. Of course. How is it, Chef? Just a touch more salt. Touch more salt. Always can add more. Yep. Can't take it away. Oh, you know what? I taste that uh, smoked pepper in there. It's good. You actually like it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was kind of skeptical. I was like, yeah, that's something different. You know, let's just try it. But I said, Chef, this is what I have. And let's let's roll with it. <laughs> Here, hold that. Okay. All right. So, put our grits right in the center. Real kind of almost creamy texture to that. Right. Yeah. Mm, we'll go cross hatch today. Wow. Doing this recipe just in time for opening day of fishing. Mm. Saturday. Get out there with your kids and bring them home and cook them up. Put a little bit on top. You always make everything look so incredible. Mm. Mm. I can smell the sage, you know, all that. It's everything that you want it to be. Everything. Yeah, you can. The flavors are just coming through it. Yeah. Mm. Oh. All right, guys. Well, See how clean. simple that is? I swear to gosh that uh, this could be, you know, $18 at any one of the restaurants. Wow, 18 bucks, huh? Yes. Not kidding. Not kidding. Oh. There you go. All right. Well, while we dig into this, we're going to throw it back to the guys in the studio.